So guys, I want to show you a little trick here. So we got this 2000 Dodge Neon, okay? And the power windows don't work. It's like when you press this up and down, neither side works. So I'm hooked up to the fuse in here. So it's a, it's a circuit breaker. It's a 30 amp circuit breaker. So I got channel one measuring voltage here. And then I got my amp clamp on around the fuse holder so that we can measure current. So I got the Pico set up. So I'm gonna press these switches and we'll see the current rise on the Pico, or we should, if the window motors are, like if the circuit's good. So here we go. So look at that, we see, what, like 16 amps coming down? That was going up on the window, going the other way. You can see the current, you can see the voltage come down a little bit and the load on the car. We'll do the other side. And you can see none of the windows are moving. We got nothing. So if we do both at the same time, do that even higher current. We're seeing over 20 amps. Look at that. So there we go. Our wire's good, confirmed. Either both windows are completely stuck or like something seized in the motors. So I just want to show you a quick test. So I'm going to check it out and we'll see what's going on. So guys, I took the motor out and it uh, seems to be working now. Like I tested the motor out of the car and moved the regulator by hand. So I don't know if it just wasn't, if it was binding up, like if maybe they didn't have the bolts tight or something, like the nuts on the motor or something wasn't sitting right. But it seems to be working perfectly fine now. We go all the way up, we go all the way down. So I'm gonna get this all back together and then we'll test the current. And we'll go check out the other side. Because the other side doesn't work. So we'll go to that side. So guys, I took the window motor out. I didn't even take it apart and it works now. And I noticed that uh, this was not clipped in. I just clipped it in like it was on the back side here. And I wonder if it was catching on this and stopping the motor from going. Because if I hold this, I can't show you guys this right now, but like if I hold this solid and I press the switch, it'll just stop. Like this thing won't even work. It's almost like, I wonder if it trips a circuit breaker or something, but there's like a couple second pause. So I just wonder if that was the issue on this side. So I'm gonna get this put back in and we'll see how it works and we'll check the currents. So I'm wondering if maybe that was the issue on the other side too and I just didn't catch it. This is interesting. Oh guys, here's something else. Look, these, these, these nuts are loose. Look at that. So like all this can contribute to binding. So there we go. So now I'm going to get this back in and we'll see what happens. So guys, I got both doors back together. Like this side's working perfectly. See it works perfect, and this side, driver's side, still works perfectly now. Really strange. I just wonder if, like, they just weren't installed right, and just me removing them made them work. So I'm gonna get the Pico set up, and we're gonna see what our current is on both sides. Okay, guys, got the Pico set up. So we'll go down with the driver's side first. Go. go up with the driver's side. Go down with the driver's side. Go up with the driver's side. We'll go down with the passenger side. We'll go up with the passenger side. Down. Up. Now we'll do both sides at the same time. Both sides up, both sides down, both sides up. There we go, and look at that current draw. So as you can see, on one side, oops, let me go back. 
on one side we have let's see we have about eight amps going down oh, wait that's going up so we're pulling around eight amps going seven eight amps going up coming down we have three amps or so it's on one side oh that's pretty much all the same across the board so we can actually zoom in on this and if you look we don't have any dead spots so I don't think we have a bad bad motor at all at least on that side let's look at this one There you go. That one looks good. Come over and check this one. And that one looks good. Now we can look at both of them right here. I think we're good guys. You can see, or we'll zoom in on these two. So you can see when we did them both at the same time, they're around 15 amps or so. 6 amps going down. So we're nowhere near blowing the fuse. All the way up here is 20 amps. Well, we got 30 amps, so we're half the circuit. So we're like perfect, guys. So I hope you guys like this test. As you can see, we can confirm circuit integrity without doing anything. Imagine that, telling somebody, oh, your problem's in the door with the motor. Because you know exactly, 100%, your circuit's good. Because we weren't blowing the fuse I don't know what the current actually was but it wasn't blowing the fuse and I could tell by the motor getting warm so there was current going through it but you could tell exactly where the problem was hope you guys like it see you later